Here's a cool project that we are working on, for example, right now, right? And I'll get into the kind of the window film stuff a little bit later, but, um, you know, we've got a really good grouping of windows on the front of this house, and then on the rear, we've got some killer windows as well, right? So we wanna have just the right setup and product line for this specific home and the type of architecture. So uh, what we're doing a lot of is we're mixing windows with usually two different varieties, sometimes even talking about a third variety. And so that's what I'm gonna go over with today with you. Let's start with the Marvin Essential. So these guys are going to be a black on black fiberglass window and fiberglass windows have come a long way. They're very thin profiled nowadays, which is very similar to how a lot of the aluminum windows read. You know, a lot of the older homes like mid-century and even 70s homes have this nice thin profile aluminum on the windows. They don't have the, um, the thermal breaks in the aluminum on the old school windows and today's windows do. So we'll, we'll talk about that as well. But I'm a big fan of the thinnest profile frame frames possible. And that's what I see when I look at these Marvin Essentials, right? So take a look at them. Come zoom in kind of close for us, Mark. Yeah, and don't mind this caulk line. This is a little bit, you know, a different level of sheen, but that's not necessarily what you'd be looking at. So really what I want you to see is this real thin frame. And even inside the windows nowadays, guys, they have like kind of this little silver that you can see in between the argon filled glass. Nowadays, they provide us the option of making that black. So Mark usually defaults on all of my windows, and I think on generally most people's windows, if we're gonna be doing black, to do that black as well, so it's all very uniform, right? So this is the inside. This is a casement. Casement windows are typically going to have a different size frame, right? They're gonna be a little bit thicker than fixed windows. So that's something to navigate when you're picking out windows. These open really nicely. I'm a huge fan of Marvin windows. I think most builders are pretty hip to that, that Marvin are some of the top tier windows out there, right? So here's what you've got. Sometimes when you've got a fixed window next to a casement, you might choose to actually make the window frame a little bit bigger. You can kind of see here's the distinction, right, of the casement height versus the fixed height. So it's all up to personal opinion and preference on what you think there, but you could, if you wanted, have this frame be in the same plane as this one. So we'll close this one up and we'll go look at some other windows. It's a nice, good experience, right? And on our way out, just kind of catch the look of the exterior of this frame. All this stuff's just wood, so don't, don't mind this, but this is the window. Yeah. Okay, great. So this is gonna be our more cost-effective option when we're doing specifically black-on-black -black windows. There are white-on-white -white and all that sort of thing, but what we're doing in most of our projects these days are that black on black. Really big fan of that. It bodes well for any sort of modern project with clean lines and um, it has a very similar look to steel. Before we head over there, let me show you steel real quick. So when I first started going down the black on black like road, I had done some steel windows and steel is super nice. These are some steel windows and doors. They're very heavy, tangibly they feel awesome but they also come with a much higher price point. So that look and feel and experience, I feel like I'm able to gain with something like this, right? At least to the level that I'm going for. It's not identical per se, but I think it looks pretty darn close and it comes at a much more budget-friendly price point. And so I think it's just a good fit for a lot of the projects and it's definitely been a good fit for a lot of the projects that we're on. So next we're gonna jump into how to handle some architecturally significant windows, right? So back to kind of the, the plan at hand. When you've got larger spans, the fiberglass is not necessarily gonna be able to span those, right? So we're looking kind of over here, we're looking over here, and we need something that is gonna be a little bit stronger in the frame and can handle wider spans and can also be molded together in these kind of architecturally significant ways, right? So for that, a lot of times we're going to head over to a different manufacturer window 
and that's gonna be the Western window, and we're gonna kind of mix and match both products. So come over here and check this out. So this is a very nice, beautiful window. Uh, this is your Western, and it's actually called Dark Bronze, interestingly enough, but what we've picked up on, and Mark's kind of helped us with, is that this actually is a black, and it looks I am almost identical to the Marvin Essential Black. So again, if you're kind of trying to play games with numbers, and you're trying to be as friendly to your budget as possible, a really good strategy that we found is to use those Marvin Essential everywhere you can, and then come over to the Western line for anything that is gonna have the larger spans, be more architecturally significant, need to be molded together. And uh, these are made out of, I believe like Arizona, and they're a very good window as well. The profiles and the frames are very thin, very similar to the essentials, definitely not identical, but very similar. And you have lots of options for sliders, big huge sliders, like these, right? You've got pretty much all the multi-slide options that you're looking for. Um, another just gigantic slider. So I mean, like this is huge, right? Huge. Ooh. Yeah. So e sky's pretty much the limit is what I'm saying with regards to the slider options and the window options and the casement options. Let's go. Let's go open this one up just so people can kind of get a feel. Okay. So again, very similar, right? It's gonna have a little bit different lever right here. That's super smooth. I really like that. A little rapid, you can see it's black inside of the, of the glass right here. So it's kind of what we were talking about earlier. That's a really nice experience, really happy with that. Here's our profiles again, right? On the frames, super sleek. So really guys, not a lot to dislike with this. And when it comes to thresholds and stuff like that, they've got some different options too. Here's just kind of a quick look at a threshold. Here's a different style of threshold. Um, this is uh, the anodized aluminum, right? So you've got, you've got lots of options. And before I head out of this session, here's a door. So anytime you're gonna have a glass door that's adjacent to these windows, I think it's very important to unify everything by staying with the same manufacturer and getting a door that's gonna be comparable. So you don't have to have any of these divisions or muntins or anything like that, dividers in this door. And so for our particular project, we're gonna do a full light door, uh, but it is gonna be comparable or actually in the same line to the other architectural windows that we're doing. So that is a good budget-friendly strategy of mixing and matching manufacturers. You shouldn't really have any issue from a warranty perspective because each one gives its own respective warranty. So as long as you install everything properly, you should be good. An interesting note, Western likes to install their own windows. So you do incorporate a very cost with that. Um, you can potentially save some costs with your framer because they won't have to install those particular windows. So that's something to navigate. Western does that because they like to be in charge of the molding on site for their windows. So that said, there's a really fun new window that's out that I'm a big fan of. I haven't got to use personally on a project yet. And so if you want her to stay with the same manufacturer, which is not a bad idea at all, um, you could pay a little bit more and you could jump over to the Marvin Modern line, right? So this is Marvin Modern. It's got probably the cleanest lines out there. And it's made for exactly what it says. It's made for modern architecture with super clean lines, super thin frame profiles. And they've actually got a multitude of colored options. This is their gunmetal. And they're gonna be comparable to Western in many ways. They're gonna be a little bit higher price point. Uh, let's say maybe a good 15 to 20% more in some cases. It all varies on the particular units you're doing. but. They're, they're a really incredible window. And again, it allows you to stay with that same manufacturer and get identical colors and all that sort of thing. So there's a lot of good benefits to doing that. Um, and this particular window, this one is, 
actually a fiberglass on the outside that is made to look and feel like an aluminum. They have a fancy name for it, but it's not coming to me right now, but that's okay. It's a super cool fiberglass. High exterior. density fiberglass. There you go, thank you, Mark. A high density <laughs> fiberglass, right, on the outside. So that's kind of a unique look. Come zoom in on this for me. Yeah, this whole flush deal is not something that you see. You see a lot more stair-stepping on the other lines and this is just all about flush so it's pretty much the cleanest window and door out there let's go on the inside and look at it so this is going to be your aluminum on the inside of course guys all this is thermally broken and this has a really neat powder coated feel to it so i'm a super big fan of this Yeah, so on our particular project that I showed you right here, right, we're definitely going to look at everything in a line item spreadsheet, and we're totally considering doing the Marvin Modern for all of these and all of these, and there may be a few other spots I'm missing, but like, for example, the Marvin, this side, the Marvin Essential would just be perfect. Marvin Essential would just be perfect. And if we go black on black with everything, that makes it really easy. And it's just gonna kind of come down to a numbers game and what our clients like and what we like the most. I think if we have our druthers, we would like to go with this Marvin Modern here versus the Western. But I have multiple other projects that I'm working on right now where we've chosen the Western for stuff like this, especially if you're doing the black on black, it's a really good fit. Again, if you wanna get into some of these other cool colors, then it's gonna be best to stay with the same Marvin line with both the essential and with the modern. And this modern line gives you the most options. And by all means, if money is not an issue, you could go with Marvin Modern for absolutely everything. And I think that would be a great look. But if you do want to keep budget in mind a little bit more, that Marvin Essential is super friendly to your budget. So kind of going over some quick rules of thumb, kind of from proportion and numbers on the budget, I would say that when you're going with the Marvin Essential line over there, which again is going to be more budget-friendly fiberglass, that's going to be the black on black that I'm talking about mostly, um, and you jump over to the Western line, you could be going anywhere from a 20 to 50% jump, uh, depending on what types of windows you're doing, whether they're casements, this, that, and the other. So it's a significant jump, but it does allow you to do these architecturally significant windows and these wider spans that aluminum allows for, right? Because the Westerner aluminum on both sides thermally broken and then when you want to jump from western over to this marvin modern be prepared for another maybe 15 to 25 percent jump kind of in that range and of course get with your sales rep and talk with them all about that i'm just kind of giving you all some quick rules of thumb that i'm aware of but uh that all changes it's all subject to change so that's kind of the the guidelines that i use mentally when i'm looking at these and i'm thinking about budgetary um, associations with all these. Let's look at this, this cool window. So this is, again, uh, the modern, right? Right here, you've got your flush pieces. I always notice the center piece is never truly flush to these outer pieces. It always seems like it protrudes just slightly. So that's kind of a detail that they have going. And then, and this has been handled quite a bit, but, and that's, this is not the window itself right here. This is just wood, so don't mind that. But here's your lever, right? It's, uh, it's more kind of like a toggle switch. It's kind of interesting. And then this is definitely the sleekest looking of all of these guys, sorry, of all these guys that I've seen. So let me kind of, the oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. There you go. So this one actually has two, so that's what threw me off. I got two of these levers. It's a little different, so. This opens this way, which is cool. And this is an option with various types of casements, depending on what you're going for. All right, so experience-wise, this is super smooth. I like it. Um, you just kind of have to get used to the two clasp over here. And I think visually, this definitely looks the sexiest. And again, you can see it's all black on the inside of this window as well. So guys, I hope that was a good overview for you. There are a ton of options in this showroom over here at Mirror Gallery of uh, Austin. 
And Mark Albers, like I said, is a great sales rep, so feel free to reach out to him and I'm sure he'd be happy to show you and your clients around. I think it's always super good if you're doing custom building to bring your clients in, have them tangibly touch and feel everything, and know that there's many other options out there in relation to wood and steel and stuff like that too. So sky's the limit. But uh, yeah, I hope it helps you out on your next uh, new build or remodel. Adios, amigos.